Told me that it's my fault, my fault that it's over. Wish I played it different. I didn't know all the times that you call, call me to be closer. Wish I paid attention. I should have known. Hello, it is now specials time. It's 9.30 and wow, this morning I was so flustered because I had a student come in already, my para came in. I do have a para this year and so um, I just have to get used to having another adult in my classroom, but it's been super nice so far. It's been a good morning so far. I feel like, you know, on your first day, usually the kids are pretty shy and pretty just like, they're just excited to be here and they're not super crazy and you don't really know them that well yet but I feel like so far they're so so respectful and um, I have my clipboard that I'm carrying around with me all day long and I have my class list there and then I have um, the schedule that I had that's like hour by hour so I've just been crossing things off we got through everything this morning I've just been taking it very very slow I'm not rushing anything I just did my um, about me slide and they had lots of questions I introduced the guinea pigs but yeah it's been a great morning so far um, I have 17 kids now here is what it's looking like um, they love the coloring sheets this morning and I'm just kind of letting them relax a little bit just get the hang of things first day is just scary and we just had like I said we did some boot camp stuff this morning so we learned expectations for like the cafeteria recess all that good stuff and I just went um, and picked up my mail and this came in I just made this the other day and it's introducing Webby and Squishy reminding our friends not to stick their hands in the cage and that they need permission I just noticed that Ugh, his name is cut off so we'll have to redo that it has honestly been a really good day and I don't want to make it sound like it's not gonna get hard I am you know just not letting them talk over me I'm not letting them just do whatever they want to right now so I think it's been nice because I'm just kind of like on it <laughs> And I, I mean, I'm already that way. Like my management is very, you know, I'm not super strict, but I want to make sure that they know that I have rules and expectations that I need followed just the first day without, you know, getting too nitty gritty into things. So far we've got, you know, the coloring sheet done. Um, we've done lining up expectations. We did cafeteria, recess, bus, boot camp. We did morning meeting, we went over rules morning announcements meet the teacher slide and then we are now at specials and then afterwards we have all of this to go to i still definitely need to prep some things and make sure that the rest of the day goes smooth and well but so far yeah it's been going great and this was so weird because this was the first time that parents got to drop their kids off and like say bye to them so that was interesting i you know obviously it's my first year my first year they never got to do that and now that's happening also i had all the plans to go get starbucks this morning and i decided you know what i don't need starbucks this morning i don't want to feel rushed i don't want to feel like giving up time to go wait in the starbucks line because i honestly didn't give myself like a ton of time i got here 30 minutes early but i was like you know what i should use that 30 minutes to get things ready get my mind ready you guys saw i did some breathing and just set up my day so that I wasn't rushing 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 because when that happens I'm anxious the rest of the day I took a minute to breathe took a minute to just soak everything in like I said I really love having that schedule so if you are a first year teacher or you are starting your first day or first week I recommend having one just because for someone like me who gets flustered and anxious quickly it's just a nice guide to be like oh this is what we're doing next these are the things that we've gotten done so I'm not like flustered up here if it's your first day or first week, good luck to you. You're doing great and just get to know your students. It's gonna be a good time. I'm there with you. Table 
is in his head already saying that you forgot about this is the face of a tired teacher but a happy one it's first day thoughts slash recap first day exhaustion first day first week exhaustion is going to be real for a while um such a great day honestly but once again like lots of reminders and i have a student in here that has a para so i'm getting used to having another adult in here if you guys have any tips on that let me know this is my first year of having like another adult in here but i know that that student and the para won't be in here all the time so i know today was just very different there were chatty cathy's all day long but i was like you know what i have to be patient and really think these kids haven't talked to each other in a long time and they just are excited to be back in class even though it like irks me that they're talking i have to remember that this is just like what they need and so i can't forget that and like be annoyed because i know if i were in their shoes i'd be talking to my friends as well just lots of redirects and like lots of reminders on things because i want them to understand that i am still following expectations and rules and i expect them to with a little bit of flexibility we um, practice a lot on dismissal so we forgot one chair but honestly I'm not gonna pick on that um so we did some role modeling today on expectations how to stack and pack how to use things in the classroom just all the good stuff yeah and I have a small, small to-do list. Like I had my students come in today and pick the seats that they wanted to sit in because I wanted just to see how everything was going to, I wanted to see how everything was going to go with who they picked, who their friends are, who's a distraction. Um, and so I have a little bit of moving to do and I wanted to get that out of the way anyways. So I need to make my seating chart. Also, a doll brandon brought me a coffee never drank coffee until 11 because one i forgot this morning and i was so flustered with everything didn't get to drink a coffee didn't even make one so i was like brandon could you please deliver one to the school like i need one really bad so i got a grande iced vanilla latte with soy milk half calf because didn't want to be going insane Ugh, i didn't even get first date pictures <laughs> Today I also read our class as a family, so I read that book. We talked a little bit about what it looks like to be a family, and they just wrote on post-its what they thought and then signed our names to make a promise that we will do these things. Pick up trash. Good one. And I've got some more things back here that I want to do throughout the week. So I just left these back here, so I'll just pick a day to do one of these things. Another thing that I really liked was um, playing with our math manipulatives. I know it sounds crazy, but I was just thinking, my team teacher was talking about how, you know, we can talk about these things, but then the lesson would be, you know, how to put them back, how to use them wisely, and just how to work as a team to clean them back up. And they had so much fun just playing with these very simple things. So I really liked doing that. And it was just good, like community building, everyone just kind of hung out and did this it was just a simple task of okay now we got to put it all away clean it up we got to help each other do it i just got home and i'm opening up some packages i think stephanie you sent these um thank you so much stephanie these are going to be great i'm going to put these in with the guinea pigs they're two little hideaways so thank you to whoever is got, getting some stuff off of my Amazon wish list. I really, really appreciate it. I haven't opened everything, but I know Stephanie got these, so <gasps> yay. They'll love these. <laughs> Look how tiny. She got one for Wubby and one for Squishy. Yay. I think they had a good first day too. Everyone was coming up and petting them, so I think they really enjoyed themselves. Some bedding. I always need this because their cage is huge. So thank you to whoever got this. Um, if you are buying off of my Amazon wish list, it'd be awesome if you included your name so I can thank you personally. But yeah, thank you so much. So someone else, I don't know if it's all the same person, but let me know in the comments if this was you that donated because that's so kind of you guys. Got some hay, pellets. You guys know, when you have an animal, especially a classroom animal, no one buys it. I mean, it's just you, right? So it really does help out so, so much. And then some of the treats. 
thank you guys so much i will show myself setting all this stuff up tomorrow morning i'm also going to change their bedding tomorrow morning as well so thank you guys we're gonna go out to dinner tonight so i'm gonna end off today's portion here and i'll see you guys in the morning well hi there haven't talked to you guys all morning it is now afternoon it is actually my lunch break turn the music off okay you guys yesterday so flustered so nervous so anxious today like a complete 360 <sighs> i feel like things are falling into place and guys it's literally only the second day so i'm saying that probably way too early but today is just like i'm taking it day by day today is a much 100 times better better day like my heart feels good my mind feels good so i realized early in the mornings i have my para and stuff they're here really early so i can't really like vlog in the morning which is okay i'm just kind of getting my things ready in the morning and then we have specials um which already happened and everything but i had things to do so i didn't pick up the vlog camera but guys this day was just I feel like we got to like do some normal things. We um, went over the safe seat today. So I showed them how to use it, when to use it. And then we did how to check out books at the library. And then we even read The Day You Begin. So I'll show you guys what we did for that. We read The Day You Begin, love this book. And then we did a like bingo. You have to find someone who, so I had them walk around the classroom. You have to find someone who has a big brother or sister, find someone who ate food from another country, find someone who was born from another country, etc. So they got to know each other more, they got to move around, and even when you're in fourth grade, you gotta move around a little bit. I even changed the guinea pigs bedding and stuff, so I'll show you guys. Yay! So during my specials time, or my plan time, I went in and just cleaned out their cage, put some new bedding in, and Okay, sorry guys, someone came to my door. But I changed their bedding and oh my gosh. Stephanie, if you're watching this, I will have her Instagram right here and her YouTube. She is so, so, so sweet. So Stephanie, thank you so much for getting the guinea pigs all of these things. I'm serious when I say yesterday in the vlog when I showed like the hay, the pellets, the hideaways, everything, that was all Stephanie. So thank you so much, Stephanie. Webby's so happy, so is Squishy. Um, I have one hideaway in here. It's kind of small, but they still get in it, and they kind of actually use it as a toy, which is nice, but I have it usually up here, and they take it down and just play with it. And then Squishy. Squishy. Hey, bub. There he is. <laughs> if anyone ever buys anything off of my wish list, it's always down below, but I would love to personally thank you, and I have my class thank you, so please make sure that if you get something, just put it um in the box so i can thank you guys i put my little sign here for people who would like to come see the guinea pigs made that on canva so i am going to go ahead and enjoy my lunch with my teammates we eat in our classrooms now but we have a much longer time to eat and everything because we don't have to take them out to recess this time last year we had to just eat lunch and then we'd have to take them out to recess but this time we have lunch recess together and we don't have to go anywhere let me show you guys my outfit so love 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 this dress this dress is from marshall's it's like a kind of like a neon lime green i love this color there's the bump and yeah just super roughly super cute and comfy um from marshall's it was in the clearance section so love this the day is done like i said earlier i can still attest to it being a really really good day now i am just practicing and kind of fine-tuning my classroom management skills um, a lot of how I classroom manage is a lot of conscious discipline which is really helping students regulate their own emotions really really making those connections in the smallest ways possible so that my students feel safe in here so that they feel comfortable with working in a group setting working independently um and listening to my directions at the same time and so a lot of how i try to manage my students like if i have students that are really doing their job i really take the time to give them positive reinforcement and that means i'm calling out their name so if i have a kid named johnny johnny i really love the way you lined up oh i see i see kathy lining up the same exact way her hands are to her side her voice is off 
providing those examples and being specific about the praise has been really really good and then i see other students around the room also trying to do the same thing but also for my students that are really more defiant and the ones that don't really want to follow directions i'll just go over there and i'll say hey so and so um I'm gonna give you some choices. I know that it's really hard to wear your mask right now, but I need you to wear it if you wanna continue coloring or we're just gonna have to do so-and-so instead, okay? And I really don't want you to miss out on those things, so please go ahead and put your... And I try to make sure that just when I am pointing those things out that I really want to get fixed, I'm making sure that I'm doing it quietly with that person more one-on-one -on -one, and so I'm not embarrassing them because I know that I had made a mistake before where I said it out loud and it really triggered that one student and it really just ruined the train of thought and then the idea of me embarrassing that person. So um, I've really been thoughtful about my classroom management and just how I wanna talk to my students. But yeah, I just got a message that um, someone came in and observed earlier and I did a stellar job with my classroom management and it's already day two and they just see my classroom running smoothly and that honestly just makes me feel so good because I really am like, I really, really think and I'm intentional about classroom management and how I want my classroom to run. I'm not a yeller. I only am raising my voice if I really, really need to. And I'm very, very clear with my direction. So hopefully that makes my job easier in the long run. Like yesterday was just exhausting because it felt like I had so many reminders. Yeah, that was just nice to see that someone noticed and said something because it just makes me feel like, huh. I'm making progress and I'm doing things and it takes a long time like I have to practice it and I have to really think oops I may have not said that right I need to try that again or that may have not been the best decision I made but I can try something else right I'm giving today a thumbs up and I'm super happy um, it's 3 35 right now I told myself I'm gonna I'm gonna stay till 4 because yesterday I actually missed my hair appointment because I was so flustered I literally just missed my hair appointment i just have the room to clean up a little bit not really they cleaned up everything but i just have a few things to put away again i just made the same list you guys saw me do this yesterday but i just filled things in wherever i needed to breakfast and all that stuff we went over our safe seat rules today and i asked them you know to model what it looks like to be safe in a safe seat why we go to the safe seat and when we need to go to the safe seat so i was very specific on um just making sure students knew that if they needed to for whatever reason um, and we gave examples of why we would need to go to the safe seat um, and then we read the day you begin and the find someone who worksheet that was really really fun we went over the classroom library and read independently as well so i have some like flexible cozy seating back there and so i just picked sticks today on what friends got the um, flexible seating back there. I change it weekly, so today is Wednesday. I'll change it next Wednesday. And as you guys can see, I have this little hack that I found. Um, there's green up top, and then the red ones are flipped over at the bottom because I chose four friends, and then the four friends that I have back there, the green circles are the ones that I haven't chose yet, and the red ones are the ones that are currently sitting in the seat. So I said, I'm gonna choose four friends to go sit in the back. You guys will meet back there really quickly, talk about who wants to sit in what chair. If we don't get the seat that we want, we just say, darn it, let's try next time. And then they just got together. Like this week has, these two days actually, I've been really, really focusing on just becoming a team, becoming a family and working together. So I've had lots of community building things like we'll take out supplies, play with them, and then we have to work together to clean them up, work together to build things, things like that. And it's just the most simple things that they enjoy. And then lots of friends are already like helping each other pick up and it's just so great building that right away because I know sometimes it's so easy to think, oh, I can just pick up my own things. I don't have to worry about others, but seeing them being helpful and not in a way that I'm forcing them to do it is just really reassuring and just so sweet. So yeah, that's all we did. And then we ended up doing the all about me pendant today. So that was really nice. We did that. Um, they really have fun with that. And I told them that they have to make them look super, super pretty. Cause I was thinking about hanging them like up on the ceiling just to show off their nice little work. If you guys have any questions about anything and I'm not being clear about something, please put them down in the comments below. I know like, for me vlogging and trying to explain things sometimes don't go hand in hand and i'm like jumping all over the place but if you have ever have any questions about anything please let me know down below i love answering your questions and just interacting with you guys
Can I get a grande pumpkin spice latte with soy milk, please? Yeah, and then I'll just do a croissant as well. I always forget there's whipped cream, so I forgot to ask for it off, but. Pumpkin spice latte. Good morning, good morning. It's day three of the first week and I feel like it just gets better and better every day. I feel so grateful and we just ended, um, before we went to specials, we did a little bit of independent reading. So I allow my students to just kind of pick spots around the room. I allow four students to sit back here. So I just pull sticks weekly. And so one student is always here, one student will always be here, and two will get to sit there. And they're, they've are they been doing a really good job putting my books back too. Today, let me show you the schedule this morning. I just kind of am trying to get them into the normal routine as much as I can without starting any curriculum yet. I would love to start on Monday, but we'll see how that goes. But I'm pretty sure we'll start on Monday. So we just did breakfast, chat, coloring sheet, morning meeting. And then I had them take out their journals and then tell me about their favorite room in their home. And then I just asked them to close their eyes. And then I kind of just talked about my favorite room, had them close their eyes and see if they could imagine that too. Why it's their favorite room. And then draw me a picture. We did a brain break. And then we did a stand up if game. So I'll show you guys that. My team teacher just made this. So we did stand up if. It's just a nice little fun activity to get to know each other again. Then I just put my bitmoji there. So I love doing that. And then we shared what sports we played. How many siblings we had. Things like that. So that was pretty fun. Since I did a really good job. I just said hey. Whenever we do really good jobs, I like to reward you guys with things randomly and surprisingly. So I um, handed them a Jolly Rancher and that was nice. So um, after they come back from specials, my plan is to start talking about um, students versus teachers. Um, I really want them to know what kinds of things we get in this classroom, how they are rewarded for their behavior. And so I love students versus teachers. And then I usually do a small reward at the end of each week and they really look forward to that. And to get them included and excited for the reward, I have them vote um, on what they want. Okay, another thing I wanted to share was I have a friend that really, really has a hard time wearing his mask and <laughs> his voice level needs lots of reminders. He loves to yell and just to be out there. So I decided I had a talk with him this morning and that I would write his tallies and reminders down here. Um, and then I told him that it wasn't gonna be perfect today, but I wanna reward him for you know, improving and getting better. So we set a goal. If I remind him more than five times today on both, then he doesn't get his Jolly Rancher that he chose. But if I remind him five times or less, he will earn a Jolly Rancher at the end of the day. And so I um, hold him accountable by saying, hey, you gotta remind me to give you that Jolly Rancher, but also you have to remind me whenever I give you that reminder that we need to tally it down so we can record what's going on. Ooh, okay, I'm on my phone because I didn't get to bring my camera, but just finished an orange theory class and Madison and I went, we didn't know, or at least I didn't know it was Mount Everest, whatever the heck that is, just huge inclines. Whew. But that was the first workout this week. I'm taking my little thing off, but that was the first wor workout of this week. And it honestly, like it was so hard, but it felt so good. Okay, forget the strap. It felt so good to finally just work out and I feel like I just took away so much stress. So if it's your first week, if it's your second week or third week, whatever, just go to the workout, get whatever you can done and you'll feel so much better.
been a great morning so far. Um, we just did a little bit of classroom jobs this morning and some mindfulness writing. Every Friday I'm going to have a free write. Is that a pimple? I don't know. It looks red. <laughs> every morning, sorry, every Friday I'm trying to do a free write where they can just pick whatever they would like to write about and just you know, do that for 20 minutes, draw a picture, that kind of thing. I've been wanting to really try having composition notebooks and then reading them like over the weekend and just kind of giving them comments and writing back and things like that. So I've been really enjoying just seeing them writing and then um, I just give them random prompts that I think would be interesting for them to write about. So just I can learn more about them and it gives me time to just communicate more with my kiddos. So that's been really fun. This is probably the last Friday that I'll actually have this. I'm gonna start using my planner starting next week, but we did these th th these three things already this morning. Um, we did a brain break. We did class jobs and practice. Right when we come back from specials, since we had a fire drill, um, they are actually applying for the jobs that I've already talked about. And we went really in depth and that's why it took a while this morning to talk about what each class job means and the importance of doing your job well and so they are applying right after I'll look over their applications um, and I just had them do it on notebook paper I'm not making anything fancy or anything I just want them to tell me their top three and why and then I will choose over the weekend um, but yeah they're at specials now so I'm gonna get my stuff done and I'll check back in with you guys a little later my outfit of the day I'm wearing a black jumpsuit if you guys have watched any of my outfit of the weeks I wear this jumpsuit all the time um, but that black wide leg jumpsuit. I've got my t-shirt on that says, oh hey, fourth grade. All of our team teachers are wearing this today. I got this off of Amazon, it's super cute. And I just put a little knot on it. So yeah, just a very comfy Friday outfit, which I love. Feels like I'm wearing pajamas, honestly. It's lunchtime. And with the smile, you can tell it's been such a good morning. I'm just so, ugh. <sighs> I feel like every day gets better and better. And I don't mean to say that like, oh, I don't have hard days or anything, but today I like, I try to really think about the small things that are happening and there are times that are really tough during the day, but in the end, I feel like if there's a lot of small things that are good, I take that as I'm doing well, my kids are doing well, my kids are safe, and that just makes me happy inside. It is now lunchtime, so I'm just about to microwave up my lunch, eat with my team a little bit, and I guess I am getting a pimple. Darn it. I'm gonna eat with my team, but I just wanna show you guys a cute little activity that I just kind of thought of last night and made it up. I love little acrostic poems, and so I thought it'd be cute if we did like a little self-portrait and then find words that describe us. Here's my example, and I had my class actually help me pick out words, so they thought of kind, awesome, thoughtful, helpful, young, and yeah, thought that was awesome. And then I said, what things can we find around the room that will help us with finding words that describe us. So, I love this. I had friends go over to the mirror and find words that represent them. I had them go to the safe seat, do the same thing. And then I even had a friend that came over to the books and just looked up words, so I thought that was awesome. Boop, boop, boop. And that's my Friday dance because it is Friday and it's the end of the day. I don't even know the last thing I got because I was, someone was at my door. So, that's just gonna be my life on these vlogs now. I remember I was in the library and then I was like, someone's knocking at my door, that's awkward. So, um, <sighs> yay. Today has been a good day. Anyways, it is Friday, so I'm not gonna even spend more than 30 minutes in here. I'm gonna clean up my area, maybe get last minute like things laminated and stuff, and then I'm out the door because it's Friday. So, yeah. I think tonight, Brandon and I are going to clean out our office to set up the nursery soon and then we are going to go to dinner. Thank you so much for watching this vlog, this weekly vlog. I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys are learning from any mistakes that I have said throughout this vlog because it's just been a week. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more vlogs. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all next time. Bye!